Good morning, good morning, my brother, my sister. We greet you in the everlasting, my God, and the adorable name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord. And it is a thankful praise that he stopped by early this morning and touched us with his divine finger of love and caused our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer. Uh, he's our day maker and he's made this day with all of the best and fineries that we could ever be searching for for our life personally and our lives perpetually through him, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven, as it is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. And the church said, Amen and Amen. Blessings upon you and your family today and where you are taking your steps into this day. Prepared, looking forward to, and what may come across your path today. Matthew 8, 16 and 17 affords us the opportunity to devotionally meditate upon this word from our Lord and a commentary from one of his servants. And when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word. God Almighty, and healed all who were ill in order that what was spoken <laughs> through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, he himself, <laughs> he himself took our infirmities and carried away <laughs> carried away our diseases. I want to um, point you in a direction where the Lord placed me a little while ago in looking at this text uh, declaring Jesus is our healer. Jesus is our healer through his healing compassion restores his compassion is a restore it restores our bodies our minds that mental illness thing will not be able uh, to make us sick, sick mentally or out of health I mean not a healthy thought will be able to come through. There's a healer who prevents uh, the worst from accompanying us in our journey of life and living. His spirit makes our spirit whole. So there is a W-H-O-L-E, a wholeness that uh, fills all the holes and gaps of just our earthly living and gives us a new lease, a new grab for life 
and living. His compassion is a restore. Uh, so our hurts no longer gets the best of us because now we have the best at work in us. Declare it with me this morning. Declare it with me this morning. Jesus is my healer. And the healing that I need, the healer provides. And oh Lord, right now from the crown of my head, oh, to the sole of my feet, be thou my healer. Uh, my healer, my healer. You know, you know, sickness is a detour in the pathway of life. Sneezing, coughing, uh, pandemic releasing, COVID-19, um, these variants, flu shots help us to stay whole from flu and fever. Um, th th there's something sanctifyingly true about the healing virtue and power of our Lord. Healing is the food for the believer. <laughs> uh, 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 woke up this morning with my mind on the healer. What's, what, what's healing food? Sickness is a detour. So if sickness is a detour, the Lord waking us up this morning has a pathway he would have us to be walking in. And him as our health provides that pathway. Now, stuff come across your mind. Appetites make you want to get it satisfied. Uh, so watch what uh, this body says satisfies me. Uh, your body didn't wake you up this morning. <laughs> Don't let it dictate how you ought to feed it. Uh, Jesus is our healer. And the sickness, just our appetites, crave for provides a detour to the pathway of life. Sickness takes us in different directions. We have not intended to go. Our, our, our schedules change. Agendas are rearranged. All in the name of sickness. Cancer, heart attacks, unsafe blood pressures are some of the contending elements that all of us individually and then our family, yeah, our family has to be confronted with. Watch your conversations. I mean, even with your family, watch your conversation. Even with your friends, watch your conversation because it may lead to uh, what you taking for this or what you taking for that? You know, my, my, I, 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 I can't come up the steps. This, this old right leg, uh, this knee or something or, or something on this side uh, just seemed like it just, it just, it just bends too much when I'm coming up the steps trying to get in the house, in the house, uh, some of the contending elements that family members as well as friends must be confronted with. Watch, watch. But the good news of the text, this Matthew 8, 16, 17 text, the good news of it is we are not alone with sickness. We are not, we are not alone. There is one who cannot get sick who will come where our sickness is and personally take our infirmities. So if that knee won't, <laughs> if that knee won't as it used to, take it to him. 
give your knee back to him. I said, Lord, you, you, you got to let me know what keeps this knee strong. Go back to the Lord. What bothers us can't bother him. What can kill us could not kill him. And finally, he is healer. And as healer, he makes that in which is sick well. Whatever, <laughs> whatever is sick, he can make it well. Check out what the text says one more time. And when evening had come, which says that's the time he was posed with an opportunity to reveal what even occurred in the morning. And when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. So what demon attacked your knee? <laughs> Uh, what, 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 what physicality um, uh, that you've been just exercising with, hadn't even thought about a knee, not until it buckled, not until some weakness, uh, but evening is coming. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what do you know about this morning that evening can, can, can testify, I woke up this morning with a weakness in my knee, but by, by the time I got to the evening, it wasn't there. Or it comes and it goes. The text says, however, and when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. So, so what demon? What what demon? What demon? What 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 demon uh, possessed you, or what demon possessed your knee this morning? Because the text says, and when the evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed, and he cast out the spirits of the demons that came from the demons with a word. <laughs> I, I want to suggest to you this morning, healing is that word that he casts out that old buckling power that hit your knee. Do, 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 you, do you have it? That, that buckling power that hit your knee. That buckling power. He, healing comes to my knee. Now whatever revelation the Holy Spirit releases for you here in the morning, evening, will be a testimony, will provide a testimony for what occurred. And when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were ill, I-L-L, -L, in order that what was spoken Check this. Through Isaiah. Do you have to read Isaiah? Here, historically, they pointed to the prophet that it might be fulfilled in the present. A prophetic word was released in order that whatever infirmity had possessed or had revealed itself. It, it, it thought it was powerful enough to hang around throughout the day. He himself took our infirmities. 
won't you give whatever <laughs> it is now <laughs> so you can testify in the evening that it's gone. Even, even if the infirmity of finances that you uh, 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 want to be empowered with, healed by, a better relationship with your wife or wife-to-be, husband or husband-to-be, circumstances, a better relationship on your jobs, why don't you speak it now? He said by. Speak it now. Uh, yeah. Speak it now. And let the revelation of the speaking and healed all who were ill in order that what was spoken through <laughs> Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled saying he himself <laughs> took our infirmities and carried away our dis-ease. Dis, <laughs> dis-ease from, from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. Let, 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 let's, I, I have my packet here. Leaven bread is here. <laughs> The fruit of the vine is here. The blood that flowed from our Savior, our Lamb of God that took away the sin of the world. The what of the world? Sin. Those dis disabling features working against God's child. Um, Jesus sat down with his Disciples one day. Y'all know the story. Y'all know. Let me, let me see. Uh, Kevin, you know the story. Uh, Lamonte, <laughs> you know the story. <laughs> he sat down. He, he sat down at the table with uh, his disciples. And, 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 and while they sat there, uh, G Jesus did. Jesus personified what... Um, what, what, what Isaiah had spoken, Jesus personified uh, what was needed against demons and those who, 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 who couldn't walk like they used to walk or some had gotten in their knee. Or, 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 or can you define what has happened to you lately? And Jesus put it in this refrain. He put it in the refrain of what Judas had exposed himself to. He came into an agreement with the enemies of Jesus. And for 30 pieces of silver, he betrayed him. And Jesus sitting at the table, I know, I know this, this, this statement must blown, must have blown Judas's mind. Cause, cause Jesus said, one of you <laughs> will uh, betray me. Oh, God, I buy side. One, one of you have already entered into a contract with my enemy and your enemy. You can't see him as an enemy because you got 30 pieces of silver. You made yourself 30 pieces of silver richer because of one thing wrong you did you thought was right. And that was you agreed to betray me. As a matter of fact, you, 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 you're going to bring them to my praying ground a little later on uh, this evening. Uh, <laughs> um, but, but the Lord said, now to the rest of y'all, just in case, this question y'all about to ask me, Lord, is it I? Yeah, we have heard some stuff about you and um, uh, we've entered into a league, a, a, an agreement uh, as, 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 as mindless and as innocent as you think that league, that agreement you've entered into ain't going to do nothing, but it can get in your knee. 
<laughs> it can get in your tongue. It can <laughs> can get in your wallet. Can get in your pocketbook. Can get in your checking account. It can get in there because there is a manipulative power that you open yourself to, yourself to that betrays. Now, I know we ain't going to always be able to run a 100-yard dash in record-breaking time or put on a set of uh, ice skates, if you could, <laughs> like like Sister Jackson did the other day, uh, 24th, uh, 24th in, in, in the last Olympics, but, but, but first in this one. Lord, help me here. You will get another chance. <laughs> Just stay persistent on the path you're looking forward to fulfilling that the Lord has has ordered for your life. Jesus said, I, I want to order, I want to reorder your life. He said, he said, he said, he said, this is my body. Woo, that on both sides, which is broken for why oh you. In spite of whatever else. You've come into league, into agreement with. I want, I want to help change your mind. <laughs> and while others are talking about a critical race theory, don't get no th don't get mixed up here. Theory, a theory didn't save you. Reality saved you. He went to the cross, died for your sins. That's reality. We need to deal with critical race reality. Not, not a theory. <laughs> not, not a theory. It could be a theory that if I if I jump if I if I jump six feet high in the air and come down on my knee, that knee has been hurting. It may hurt again. That's a theory. But reality is, this is my body which was broken for you. You ain't got to break nothing trying to get a blessing. Nothing, nothing you have to break but a relationship with the one who don't mean you good. This is my body, which is broken for you. And he told us to take it and eat it. Broken for me. Bro broken for what? For what can break me. Healing for what makes me sick, makes me tired, make me nervous, make me uneasy. Whatever the adjective, it makes you. He makes, and he made you. He knows what can make you and keep you strong. This is my body, which is broken for you. Then he said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. You know what testament is? And I give you a new one. You, you ever seen this day before? It's a new day. So it's a new, it's a new, a new will <laughs> that's been probated on the cross of Calvary. Edabai, on the cross. And it still works. Everywhere. You have veins and arteries. I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it now. <laughs> Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of thy grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and your will. <laughs> your will. That's what New Testament is. The will of God. Oh, the will of God from the crown of my head. It's running in me. It's it's part of my part of my my 
my, my circulatory, this bread and wine is now part of my circulatory system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Wear the mask, go on do the social distancing, but take your vaccine. <laughs> I, 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 the vaccine, bread and wine. Now, if God is God, he's in control of Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J. &J. <laughs> and whatever he has led his folk in creating for us folk, his people, the sheep of his pasture. <laughs> Even for oh, our respiratory system, where that virus attacks, even in our, 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 our circulatory system, where the veins and the arteries carry that which nourishes and heals. Jesus is our healer. He himself took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. Judas missed something. 30 pieces of silver had his mind. He bought some property. And then this, on that property, he hung himself. Don't, don't let nothing hang you. You're above that. If, if, if anything about hanging, he was hung up for our hang-ups. <laughs> Jesus was from the sixth to the ninth hour. Hey, sir. And the last word he spoke verifies healing from him <laughs> by his stripes. 39 of them. We are Jesus is our healer. From the crown of our head, elbow, to the sole of our feet. Release thy healing, O Lord, upon thy people. The knowledge of this healing. The action of this healing. The revelation of that healing and the reality of that healing now in every critical move. This medicine we take today, morning, noon, and night, all this medicine that's been given to help bring our blood pressure down and bring new life to where congested heart failure had been abundantly carried through our genes and veins and he heritage. <laughs> Open our eyes that we may see. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our mouths that we may declare the power of present and future through you. Thank you, Lord, for this day and daily bread Daily bread from you. Daily. Daily bread. Ah, yeah. Daily bread from you. Will give us daily optimal life and living. And we shall be so careful as to give thy name praise, honor, and glory. For we ask it all in the precious, oh God, and adorable name of Jesus, <laughs> our Christ, and our Lord. Good God Almighty, blessings upon you. Uh, Prophet Lamont and uh, servant Kevin and your families, those you shall touch throughout this day and see the 
revolutionizing power of God at work. Oh, God Almighty, God Almighty. Oh, God, honorable say. My God, my God, my God, my God. <laughs> mm. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Anna, can I get a witness? Can I can I get a witness? <sighs> Have a great day, y'all. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a great day. See you in the morning. God bless.